welcome back to the channel. So today we will be looking at a scholarship program that is focusing more on women. So it's a gender-based scholarship program and it is intended for international students who are not based in the United States but um, have applied to a U.S.-based institution, okay, at the master's level, doctoral level, and postdoctoral level. Okay, friends, so my name is Kisiwa, and I share content on study abroad and scholarship opportunities. So if you are interested in these kind of content, it will be great to subscribe to the channel and turn your post notification on so you don't miss any video I post on this channel. So let's move straight to the details of today's video. So today's scholarship program is being offered by the AAUW, that is the American Association of University Women, and it is the intention to support international women who are not from the United States and are pursuing their education in the United States. Uh, the scholarship program provides support for women pursuing full-time graduate or postdoctoral study in the United States to women who are not U.S. citizens or permanent resident and who intend to return to their home country to pursue a professional career. Now, a limited number of awards are available for study outside of the United States, but not in the applicant's home country. Applicants must have earned uh, the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree by the application deadline and must have applied to a proposed institution of study by the time of application. So um, recipients are selected for academic achievement and demonstrated commitment to women and girls. Okay, so um, the award amount for master's or first professional degree is twenty thousand US dollars. For doctoral is twenty five thousand US dollars, and for postdoctoral degree it is fifty thousand US dollars. For the timeline, I guess first is the application opening date, and November fifteenth, twenty twenty three, is the deadline for the submission of your application recommendations and supporting document. By the 15th of April, applicants will be notified of the decision and the scholarship covers a period between July 1st and June 30th, 2025. July 1st, 2024 and June 30th, 2025. So now let's look at the eligibility. For you to be considered for this scholarship, you should have citizenship in a country other than U.S. or possession of a non-immigrant visa if residing in the U.S. So women who are currently or expect to be during the fellowship year a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or dual citizenship with the U.S. and another country are not eligible. You should also hold an academic degree and in U.S. or abroad equivalent to the U.S. bachelor's degree completed by the time of application deadline. You intend to devote yourself full-time to the proposed academic plan during the fellowship year. You also intend to return to your home country to pursue a professional career upon completion of your studies. You should be proficient in English and confirm proficiency by submitting one of the required components. So, um, English proficiency exam or transcript from English speaking institution or a written statement verifying English is the applicant's native language. Now, for master's or first professional degree and doctoral applicant, you must have applied by the AAUW application deadline to an accredited institution of study for the period of the fellowship year and must indicate the name of the institution in the international fellowship application. Again, for the master's or first professional degree, fellowships are intended for master's or professional degree level programs, such as um, JD, MFA, LLM, MMAC, or medical degrees such as MD, DDS, etc. Certificate, associate degree, and undergraduate degree are not eligible. Um, for doctoral fellowship, 
um, the degrees intended for doctorate degree classified as research degrees such as PhD or EDD. Um, postdoctoral applicants must provide proof of their doctorate degree, hold a doctorate classified as a research degree, um, or an MFA by the application deadline, and indicate where they will conduct their research. Again, um, masters of first professional degree and doctoral applicants must be enrolled in a U.S. accredited institution located in U.S. during their fellowship year. A limited number of awards are available to graduate women international members for study or research in any country other than their own. Applicants can apply for fellowship for any year of their program but must be conducting a full year of study or research. International fellowships do not provide funding for a particular year of study or research. Programs ending prior to April of the fellowship year are not eligible. Now, in terms of um, distance learning and online program, masters of first professional degree and doctoral fellowships support traditional classroom-based courses of study at colleges or universities. It does not support distance learning or online programs. And for the selection criteria, an application review it has also been stated here. Applicants residing in their home country at a time of application from developing or emerging countries or from underpresented group in any region will receive special consideration. Now, position on return to home country will also be considered. Your academic and or professional qualification will also be um, looked into. Um, demonstrated commitment to the advancement of women and girls in home country will also be considered. Proposed time schedule is also looked at and quality and visibility of proposed plan of study or research will also be looked at. Demonstrated evidence of per community and or civic service in home country is also considered. Applicants countries need for specialized knowledge or skill will also be considered and then financial need plus motivation for graduate study or research will also be looked at now for the regulations international fellowship funds are available for your educational expenses for your living expenses and dependent child care and travel to professional meetings conferences or seminars that do not exceed 10% of the fellowship total. It doesn't cover purchase of equipment, indirect costs, research assistance, previous expenditures, publication costs, institutional costs, tuition for um, dependent education, grant in aid for less than a full academic year or travel, travel to and from fellows home country, and travel to and from research location if abroad okay so yeah these are the regulations that you have to actually take note of so this video is more like a one pager website i'll leave the link to the web page in the description you can go into further details and if there are any questions you can also reach out to them ask your questions now if you have gained admission to any university in the united states and you are a master's degree doctoral or postdoctoral student and you are an international student you are a woman then you can benefit from this um program now for this scholarship it doesn't really matter if the school has responded to your application once you have submitted an application or you have been accepted into a university then you can apply for the scholarship. So yes, that is all for today's video. If it was helpful, um, if it was educative, kindly like the video. And you can also share it with a sister, a friend, a wife, and a girlfriend, okay? Don't forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do want to subscribe. And it's a bye for now.